Why, hello everyone! Welcome to another edition of Story Shows. Our story is Max and Ruby's Treasure Hunt, and it's written and illustrated by Rosemary Wells. Let's have a tea party, said Max's sister Ruby. Good idea, said Ruby's best friend Louise. There was not a cloud in the sky, but suddenly... Crash! Bang! Went the thunderstorm just when Ruby was pouring a cup of pretend tea for Louise's little sister Lily. Lily grabbed her doll, Dagmar, and everybody ran into the house as fast as they could. Rain, rain, go away, said Ruby. Come again, another day, said Luis. Everybody wants to play, chimed in Max. Grandma heard every word. Let's have a treasure hunt, said Grandma. How does it work, asked Luis. There are seven clues hidden in seven places in the house, said Grandma. Follow the clues, one after another, and you will find the treasure. Where do we begin? asked Ruby. Let me see, said Grandma. Let's start with cock a doodle do My dame has lost her, oh dear, something or another. Who can think of what she lost? What rhymes with cock a doodle do asked Ruby. My dame has lost her shoe, said Luis. Look, shouted Lily. There's a Max sneaker under the chair. Sure enough, under the easy chair was Max's blue sneaker. Inside was the first clue. Ruby read it out loud. Clue number one. I'm a little blank, short and stout. Tip me over and pour me out. I know, I know, I know, said Louise. She looked in the dining room cupboard. She took out the teapot. Inside the teapot was the second clue. Louise read it. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jump over the... Everyone guessed what might rhyme with quick. Lily got it right. Lick, brick, quick, chick, thick, candlestick. The third clue was in the hall under one of the candlesticks. Lily found it. She could not read yet, so Luis read it for her. Clue three. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the... It has to rhyme with moon, said Ruby. This time, Max guessed right. Spoon! Max was the first one to get to the pantry silverware drawer. Sure enough, in the spoon slot was the next clue. Hooray! shouted Max. Max couldn't read the clue, so Ruby had to do it for him. Clue number four. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver, blank, blank, blank all down her back, back, back. This one isn't a rhyming clue, said Ruby. What could Miss Mary Mac have down her back? asked Louise. Everyone had an idea, but Lily knew the rhyme by heart. Max thought spider, worm, or bug. She led the way upstairs to the closet. On the shelf was Grandma's sewing box. Silver buttons, said Luis. In the sewing box was another clue. Clue five. 
Little boy blue, come blow your blank. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. What could it be? asked Louise. Blow your horn? How about the car horn? asked Ruby. Garage! said Max. Ruby was right. On the steering wheel of Grandma's red Chevrolet was the next clue. Ruby pushed the button and put the top down. The clue said, Clue 6. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the blank. Dock, said Louise, what rhymes with dock? Lock, sock, rock, block. Smock or flock? Clock, said Max. But there was nothing under the alarm clock in the bedroom. There was nothing under the clock radio in the guest room. Suddenly, Luis heard it. Bong, bong, bong. It was the grandfather clock in the living room. Downstairs they all went. Ruby opened the door of the big grandfather clock. Inside was the last clue. It said, Clue 7. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under blank blank. Max bolted for the screen porch. He opened the door. Under Grandma's chair was the treasure box. Max was the first to open it. Inside were five gold coins filled with chocolate. They are too beautiful to eat, said Ruby. But there are only four of us and five coins, said Louise. One for Dagmar, said Grandma. Dagmar, Lily shouted. Where is Dagmar? Did you leave her in one of the clue locations? asked Grandma. Maybe, but which one? said Ruby. Dining room, hall, pantry, closet, garage, bedroom, living room. There were so many clues and different locations. No one could remember where Dagmar might have been lost. Is Dagmar in the dining room? Is Dagmar in the hall? Is Dagmar in the pantry? Is Dagmar in the closet? Is Dagmar in the garage? In the bedroom or the living room? In the parlor, right where Lily left her. Hooray! And that is the end of our story, Max and Ruby's Treasure Hunt by Rosemary Wells. I hope you enjoyed that, and that looked like a very fun adventure for the little rabbits to play. Thank you for stopping by Story Shows and spending some of your time here with Emma's dad. I appreciate you. Peace be harmony. I be out.